Hey, ML Toys here, bringing you a video about braking in your motors. We get a lot of people that fail to follow these very crucial instructions and don't quite understand the importance of it. When you bought your ride-on vehicle stock, it wasn't required, and that's because a stock motor isn't really raced out to the maximum performance level and isn't running as many volts as most of you guys are putting through the vehicles. So it's more important for everything to be built properly when you're running it to the maximum performance. No different than a NASCAR versus a regular street vehicle. So breaking in the motor, what that does is it seats the motor brushes. And we've got a motor here that we've actually got set to open up for you and show you inside and exactly what that means. So let me pull this open. You can only do it once easily. So this is the inside of one of your motors. Okay, and what you have in here is two motor brushes that rub up against the center commutator and it's the pull it out of here you can see the copper portion on the motor that's what makes the electric contact with the vehicle and helps determine the speed of it so these motor brushes are pretty flat on the contact area uh, these this one's been run a little bit but for the most part when you spread this out you can see you have a pretty flat contact patch onto the armature of the motor what you want to do is, when you run them in, is get a little arc into the motor brushes so that they're a little rounded on the inside. When they're running new, you'll see a lot of sparks coming out of the motors. And those sparks are because you have a very, very tiny contact patch. As you break the motors in, you round that to it and you have a larger contact patch area. And that's what helps to... Uh, seat the brushes and makes the motors last a lot longer. So it's extremely important to do and the way you do it is just by running the vehicle at low speed uh, for about 20 minutes with our 775 motors is what we usually recommend uh, and that allows these to wear a little bit and you'll see the sparks will go down over time as it's running uh, and, and seats them in and will give you a much longer lifespan and cooler running with the motor. Um, you don't want to do a lot of stopping. Every time you stop, the motor jerks and that causes it to uh, make a larger spark. And eventually those sparks will cause the motor brushes to chip uh, and even break off. And that's kind of permanent totaled for the motor. Uh, also running in reverse will wear the motor brushes in the wrong direction. So you want to always go forward in a low speed, stopping as little as safely possible as it indicates in the instructions. Uh, if you do break one of these or anything in the motor, these are sealed by a machine uh, normally, so it's stamped down and you cannot reopen a motor and replace the brushes. It is uh, terminal when something goes wrong inside of one of the motors. And just so you guys can see, we use some pretty hefty magnets here. Here's the fan on our uh, motors, the internal, internal fan that's on them. And just so you can see what the rest of a motor looks like, the magnets on the outside. There's a lot of other YouTube videos if you want to learn about the anatomy of, mo of a motor. We just want to make sure that you do take the time and break it in properly. So another great lesson from ML Toys.